Aiden wants to move in for a Paralyze. Zwen the Tiger is out. This is going to ramp up a lot of damage for Aiden in the future. Stormers and Fire. Huge pressure from Aiden trying to get Peekaboo off of CMD, but Peekaboo stuns him away on his cooldown. Shadow steps over to Oxygen for a cheap shot and avoids Aiden at the same time. Nice moves by Peekaboo. CMD still very low. Oxygen trinkets out of crowd control, trying to top his team with the Avenging Wrath. But even with Avenging Wrath, he is struggling. Silence now by WizK, and that's a KO. Golden Guardians take game one. What a play by Peekaboo right there. He's getting set up on right there at the end, but he actually turns the setup on its head, does a counter go there, blinds Oxygen, forces out his trinket, gets the stun on his trinket after that. Whiskey with the follow up. Beautiful. It's going to be interesting to see what their target's going to be. Are they going to go for the Rogue again or the Shadow Priest? Because they got all of Whiskey's cooldowns early on, and then we saw them make a swap to Peekaboo. They got all of his cooldowns, and then they just couldn't close the game out. So. Perhaps they should just pick a target and stay on it for the match here. WizK initially going to be the target as Peekaboo sneaks in. Stunning Oxygen, Shadow stepping over to CMD. The Mage is going to be the target, but Aiden with a pre-grapple weapon denies Peekaboo. And huge pressure on WizK right off the bat. WizK fading. That's when the Tiger of Aiden, and he is still just laying waste Whoa. to WizK. That's it. KO. Aiden says, I'm not playing around. <laughs> it takes game there two in a matter of seconds. No Wiz K got cut, gets caught into the double leg sweep. Meteor does get dropped down. He missed CMD it. The big he combustion. The Where's the damage? Unfortunately, it does not land on Wiz K, and all that damage is going to be gone. And now Absurge finds a full hex out of the blind on Aiden. No help for CMD. They're just controlling Aiden. Oxygen has no mana, and it looks like CMD is going to get burnt down. Golden Guardians up two to one. Duel not during the Zwen Tiger, so Aiden still has cooldowns. He could overwhelm Whiskey. He's not careful. Aiden's lining him up. Storm, Earth, and Fire. Double Dragon's Breath. CMD looking to try and find crowd control. Gets interrupted. They need to crowd control Absturge. The Zwen the Tiger gets rooted. All the images get rooted. Aiden gets totally shut down on his biggest burst. Now Aiden in trouble. Stunlock. Golden Guardians totally defuse that situation. And now Aiden has to defuse and Whoa. dies through it. Golden Guardians close it out. Three to one. Beautiful shutdown. Like you said, Charlotte Phoenix, they can basically pick who they want to go after in this matchup. Looks like a full kidney shot on Ron Paul. They're just going to be going for Nazem. Jamili pulls out the combustion. He trinkets out of the stun. Zev now caught into a Dragon's Breath. Three on one, and Nazem looks like he's going to get absolutely the crushed. The seed does get dropped as well. The combustion from the Fire Mage and all the crowd control available for the Charlotte Phoenix. They were able to push through. I mean, the Ron Paul and Zev basically have a really big wheel of barrow that they're putting the Destro Warlock in, <laughs> trying to carry him through this, I think. <laughs> uh, it's going to be really tough. And look at this opener right now from Charlotte Phoenix. Crowd control across the board. Paladin just gets picked out of nowhere. Charlotte Phoenix going to close this down. 2-0, one more win, and they will be advancing. And now they have a chance to take something back here from Nick. Full kidney still though onto Ron Paul. Nice counter spell again onto Nozum. Nozum still in trouble here. Jamili is gonna have his combustion as well for that next setup. Cheap shot onto Ron Paul. There's a smoke from Nick. They have the duo. He's going for it. Big damage coming in here. Nice sheep here secured. And that surely is going to be the game. Zeb, what are you gonna do to survive? Nothing. There it is. Big damage coming in. Zeb getting Dragon's Breath there. Can't keep him alive. And that is going to be game number three. Drill critically low, Sidu sacrifices, but he's got no mana to heal. He procs an awakening on the Word of oh. Glory. He needs one big divine toll. He might be able to heal Trill back to full. They drop the anti-magic zone in desperation to protect Trill with karma, and Trill is holding on, but still at 50% health. Holy light after holy light, divine favor comes off cool, and Sidu charges in for a hammer of justice. Greki gets sanctuaryed out. Thugonomics and a grapple weapon. They're still just cleaving them down. This is anyone's game. How on earth are they still oh. alive at this Whoa. point? Thugonomics gets closed out by the chill streak combo. Lord Mez is back to play. Yeah, but look at the cooldowns here. Goreki has nothing left, and Thug has nothing left, and that's a double blind. Here we go. Mez looking to close out the match, and there it is. Sindra goes out flying through the map. Winter, the chill streak, everything just destroying Thugonomics there on that Retribution Paladin, and that is going to be good night, Space Station Gaming, in this game number two. Trade out his trinket. Touch of Karma gonna be back up for him in about 10 seconds here. And Thug getting disarmed there by the Windwalker. Now Trill's gonna be kiting, waiting for that Fist of Fury potentially. There it is. Fist of Fury gonna come out. Beautiful stun there onto Goreki. What can they force here? Chun gonna trade out the Karma right there. And the pressure just keeps on going. Chill Streak bouncing. Trill taking massive damage oh. here. And he gets destroyed in that stun lock combo. 
pretty low on health. Trill is trying to support. He does patiently hold on to Divine Shield. Will he get away with this, though? Is Sidhu actually going to get away with not having to shield? It looks like he will. He's moving in on the Gorecki. Hammer's down. Does he have a Hammer of Justice? He's not going for it. Waiting for the crossbow oh. potentially, and that could just be in. They're looking to close it out, and that's more than enough. Zwen the Tiger, Pillar of the Frost, Wombo Combo, OTK are back to play. Both teams in a lot of trouble right now here. No cooldowns for Drake. No cooldowns for Wealthy Man. Who's going to fall first? Wealthy Man night fading away with that Vulpin form. Drake in hot pursuit. Now gripped back by Snuts. Will Wealthy Man be able to escape? He's got nothing. 12 seconds on sacrifice. Full polymorph. That's it. And the Wild Seed. Are they going to be able to save the Wild Seed? They're trying to shatter him. And no, they can't. Void Shift was actually available for Snuts. He may have been able to save that in the final moments, but... Obviously devastating for Cloud9. Kawaii, though, take game one. But now, Brain, no Trinket, no Divine Shield. He's in a lot of trouble. If Wealthy Man and Snuts can set up just one more time, they do have Kabas. They just have to hold on. Void Shift comes in from Snuts. Wealthy Man barely able to hold on. Cloud9 doing everything they can. They just need one more chance on Brain. They need one more setup. And if they can get that, they can win the game. But I don't know if they have enough time. Yeah, I'm not sure. Wealthy Man's still under a lot of pressure. Comes in a paralyzed. Wealthy Man might just go down here. Activates the Triune Ward, and there it is. The seed is the going seed. to block. There is the blessing it. of protection on the Ooh. seed, but it doesn't matter. He gets erased right there. Seraium able to steal that one. And let's see if they can kind of repeat that success. Seraium just kind of sitting back, resetting his combustion once again. The only problem for Cloud9 is when they make these pushes, why is kind of baiting them? They're overextending them. Wealthy Man's having to use his shimmers to go in. Cubsy's having to find and use his mobility to actually get the Hammer of Justice. And then he's really susceptible to crowd control. Big setup here onto Brain. Is this Divine Shield? No, he just gets crushed. What? Doesn't use the Divine Shield. Like I said, sometimes greed is good, but oh, that was a little too greedy there. Drake and Snuts and Wealthy Man both in a lot of trouble here. Mana completely tapped for Cubsy despite his drinks earlier. He actually gets counterspelled. Drake rolls in with the counterspell. Oh! They're on match point. They look to close against Cloud9. Seralium soul shapes in for a Dragon's Breath. There's the Paralyzed. They're going to connect. Drake gets stunned off, but he's dispelled. Meteor is about to come down. Big hit. Actually onto Drake. It's Wealthy Man's Meteor. They're turning it around. Drake gets taken out. They're going to... Play it out, I think, here. Mind Control's in well, He blocks the Mind Control. Ooh. I think we're going to do a 2v2. They proc the Wild Seed. Brain oh is chopping down that Wild Seed. They're slapping it to take this to a 2v2. Can they take it to a 2v2? Snuts is healing the Wild Seed. Snuts is keeping the Wild Seed alive right now. Wealthy Man survives. No Kawaii tap out. Oh we're going to game God. five. Wealthy Man trying to set up out of it. He gets a Ring of Frost onto Cubsy. Surround taking a lot of damage here. Brain with the wings active. And that's going to be Cubsy's Divine Shield as well as that Blessing of Freedom. Big damage on Surround still though. Conrad's going to trigger. Surround might need to use his Ice Block. If he's not careful. Mass. He's not going for the Master Spell. Crowd Control is endless. On Brain, full sheep. Surround him with the Invis. Can he find him? The though? Seed. Oh, is with him. The Seed. The Seed is protected in the room. They're trying to keep it alive. Can they kill it? And they will be able to take it down. Cloud9 Unreal. wins the matchup on a reverse sweep. The incoming burst damage, but that damage could be endless. Peekaboo rolling away, trying to dodge the leg sweep potentially. Now moving in for a leg sweep of his own. Double onto both Thugonomics and Chun-Li. Tons of damage here. Fist of Fury flying. Peekaboo pulls the trigger on his swing, the Tiger. Thugonomics could be in trouble, but no, it's Peekaboo who's in trouble. Everybody locked down in crowd control. Oh no! Peekaboo gets cut down and Space Station Gaming take game one. Upstairs completely oom, sitting there for a drink in the middle of the map. Whiskey goes for the poly, he gets it. This has got to be the game here. Whiskey with big fat damage, no pro legendary. <laughs> He's going to go down. Peekaboo! Oh, Peekaboo gets dropped, and now it's a 2v2. Whiskey on the mage versus Chun Li and Goreki. And Upstairs has zero mana, we're no 40% way. dampening. How is he going to survive this? What a menace right now. Absurge on the run, trying to top himself and Whiskey at the same time in the face of 55% dampening and the 2v2 legend Chun Li. I don't think it's happening. Chun Li, Tiger Slus out of the Nova, cracks through the altar time, touch of death connects, and Space Station Gaming move to match point in a cross kill. All right, Space Station Gaming versus Golden Guardians. Space Station Gaming, one win away from sending Golden Guardians out of this tournament. Let's see if they can pull it off here, facing elimination. They're sneaking up on Space Station Gaming. Sap on Gorecki, Chief Shot on Chun. Starting the fight actually on Chun-Li, mixing it up, looking for instant eradication. What? And they will net <laughs> a kill. The immediately, Golden Guardians showing what's up. Whiskey with that combustion popping off in game three. <laughs> 
last cooldown, Goreki really does have available, and it looks like WizK will potentially fall, blessing of protection. It's just the cooldown rotation from Golden Guardians oh. has been absolutely beautiful. Yes, They're going for another setup. Can they take Spexen down? It's getting close, pre-die by the sword, and WizK still just barely holding on. There's no tools left for Absurge. 62% dampening, WizK falls. No. Peekaboo likely to fall shortly after, and what? an insane game that was. I mean, it went to 63% dampening, but that could have easily closed out 40% dampening, 50% dampening earlier. Shut down, Holy Shock, Divine Favor, immediate recovery, and now Charlotte Phoenix retreat to the pillar. They're all cowering in fear as Brain leads the charge. Corlick gets smacked down in the Hammer of Justice. Meteor crashes in. Nick is at half health. Jamili stalls with a Dragon's Breath, but Prev follows up with a fear across the entire team. Jamili is isolated and absolutely destroyed. They proc the Wild Seed. They absolutely crush it. Beautiful play by Kawi. Nice read on the composition and a great showcase for Prevy. This is unbelievable. Can they pull this off? Can they actually pull this off? Nick is going after Prev, trying to take him out here. I don't know if they've got enough damage to do it. Jamili blinks in on a sliver of health to take down the Shadow Priest, fading at 50% health. Seralium's interrupt, Brain is poly. Can they actually do it? Can Charlotte Phoenix take game two? Prev holding on, casting Shadow Men's his healer, Dragon's Breath. Nick now getting it turned around on him though. He goes for the Shadowy Duel just to stay alive. Only one player of the team can attack Nick at this moment in time. Meteor getting dropped here. Corlick stacks up for it. Rapture, powered shields. No wild seed number two to save Nick here. He's at 10%. Corlick's working with absolutely nothing, trying to buy every single opportunity that he can for his team. They go for the cold blood. Massive hit oh, over on the Prev. They did it. They actually no pulled it off. They actually pulled it off. They just traveled across the universe what? on zero gas. Nick managed to nice survive. Way. They're actually going after Brain. Are they yeah. going to take him down? Oh, they're going to take him down. There's no way. He's, He's so close. 10% health, 50% health. He gets the heal on himself, but this is unrelenting from Jamili. Big combustion damage, but Brain manages to hold on. What a close call. And you can just tell the, uh, all the members of Kauai right now, they're just getting flashbacks. But Nick, oh. gonna get destroyed in that final setup right there. Did have his Cloak of Shadows, but he was stun locked with no trinket. Clean setup there by Kauai, you can tell. Nick, though, looks like he was able to get a re-stealth, dispelled of dots, waiting to find a target. Stralium popping Combust here, trying to go after Jamili. Just maxing his damage to Oom um the, the Disc Priest. I kind of like that, just tapped Korlik on his main weakness. Uh, brain though, stun locked. They're chasing Seralium. Seralium blinks Nick in pursuit, stuns him up. Triple crowd control, huge hit of damage, Whoa. and that's it. KO. We're going to game five. Dragon's Breath on Prev. Seralium is alone, but now recovers with just one instant heal from the Paladin. Nick, line of sighting, feigning some damage. They swap over to Korlek, big power swap oh. on to Korlek, and that's it. KO. How we do it. 3 2. Thug in a DR Cyclone here. Prev loading up the Starfire, building up the Astral Power. Here we go. Looking to charge in here. The Mighty Bash comes in onto Thug. One Star Surge up. There's the Pro Legendary. Is it going to be enough? Is he going to die through a Goreki in a Hammer of Justice? And that is going to be the end of Space Station Gaming here in game number one. Use that Zwen, give himself Blood Loss, put out a lot of extra damage. Light Sweep's rotating back up as well. You see a Paralyze into a DR Polymorph onto Gorecki. It actually gets grounded, but the damage is just too overwhelming. Gorecki with no Spirit Link Totem just doesn't have the throughput. Gets caught into that double leg sweep. Big spinning crane kick. And eventually Thugonomics does fall. Kawhi is looking really strong in this series. Just sitting there with his Zwen the Tiger right now, doing a lot of damage. There's a Spear of Bastion, Smexen, trying to take down Drake, but Smexen actually, the victim of tab targeting behind the pillar, gets disarmed <laughs> and almost gets taken down there as well as Drake rolls around back to the box there. Smexen now trying to charge back in here and trying to close this game out, Sid. Oh, that's it. Oh! Smexen goes down, had died by the sword, but didn't trade it out in time. Overwhelming pressure from Kawahi here in game three, asserting dominance over Space Station Gaming. When he goes after Wealthy Man, he's gonna get spam Cyclone. So they need beautiful cross crowd control if Trill is to be effective in this matchup. Big Meteor go here. Immediate Kleptomania cancel by Wealthy Man on Sam I Am's Combust. And Channel looks like he will be able to survive and has all of his damage cooldowns ready and available. OTK has to be ready to have a solid defense.
Yeah, and that was a nice push there. And now it's Cubsy here on the back foot. Nice counter spell onto Channel. Cubsy not going to be taking any risks there. Immediately using his Gladiator's Medallion now. Nice cross CC convoke, here. Convoke, convoke. Sola, baby. The convoke is here. He gets a full moon, but he does have... Oh, my oh! God, he's dead. Oh, oh, my God, oh, he's, he's dead. dead. He died. He's dead. He got taken I'm going nice after this. The cross. Yeah, I think you should. Cloud9 are looking finger licking good in game one there with that Convoke the Spirits <laughs> victory. Let's see what they can get. Let's see, let's see if they can dump them again into the the sweet and sour sauce of the Convoke the Spirits. Oh, Sidu getting Ooh. solar. Are they going to go after Sidu? Trill stunned behind the pillar. Oh! 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 Wow! Are you kidding me? <laughs> lots of screaming There's the and lots of Just lost it. Oh, he kicked it. Look, he countered it. He, he, kicked it it's like, oh good. my goodness yeah this is basically a checkmate situation here they could take down trail oh Cubsy though takes a lot of damage here trinkets out is gonna be enough doesn't have his divine shield he gets a uh, stun there ring of peace on his divine Ooh. favor Cubsy taking so much damage here from the fists he activates that curian potion blessing and protection and that is going to be enough there now trail he has pretty much nothing except that trinket maybe a port as well with that trinket here Sebastian, we go There's the trail, oh, he's yeah! dead. that's it he gets Hammer of Justice behind the pillar on top of his port. Good night, Trill. That's going to be the combust. That's going to be 3-0 for C9. And that is largely because of that setup that Enrique was talking about before that, where they get the Hammer of Justice, they pop off the Karma, they force out the cooldowns from Trill, then the combustion finally comes around, and that is just going to be KO. Rich Campbell on Twitter tweeting at Warcraft saying uh, nerf Boomkins and I can't imagine why here. Cloud9 3 owing OT. He uses the Dragon's Breath to survive. Cauterize does proc, gets a little bit of a heal. He's just going to be kiting it out. Prev low in the meantime. Blinding light on Brain and Prev could be the one that falls. No! He might just fall. Are we going to see Sam, 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 Sam. Sam I am oh, gets oh. the sacrifice. It's oh. not ultimate. It's not ultimate. It's not ultimate. They might take him down the scene. Yeah. The wild scene. The wild scene. They take down the scene. They, they take no him down. Win Walker Paladin 2v2. There's the sacrifice by Brain. Brain looking set up for a drink. Sidu chasing him, but Sidu uh, just keeping the Trill alive right now with the wings. He has this divine favor as well. Trill doing what he can to cut the situation, but it takes too much damage. Sidu needs to go for the divine favor. Doesn't even have the mana for it. And that is going to be Trill going down there. What a devastating loss for OTK. There's just nothing left for them. In the meantime, they're trying to get a counter kill here on Seralium. Hammer of Justice does land. How is Seralium going to survive this one? It looks like Blazing Barrier might be enough with that Triune Ward full blinding light out on the Sea-Do. Keep in mind, Sea-Do's got no trinket for another 18 seconds. Uh -oh. It's it. Oh, it's over. Samayam's gone. And if they could take down this seed, and they will, Hawaii will claim game number two. Cooldowns are still ahead slightly for OTK. Brain is running around the map trying to stall, maybe even trying to drink again. Really, Brain? You're going to try to drink again? I mean, if he gets it, it's going to be massive. I think he is. Brain's mana over in the corner. He's, he's almost back to half. Sidu's totally tapped. Sidu's working with nothing. Can he keep it going? He goes in for the Hodge. Seralium has nothing. Seralium is running to the ends of the world. And he uses Alter to go back to center field. Trill is trying desperately to catch up. Paralyzing Drake on the fist. Seralium blinks for a poly. Catches Sidu. Sam's in trouble. Sidu trinkets out. He's got nothing into the full hammer. It's match point. Sam, I am. What are you going to do? He Dragon's Breath Drake. He Dragon's Breath, but he's so much damage. They pop at the Seed Procs. Are they going to be able to kill the Wild Seed? Yes, they will. And Kawhi. Pull it off three to zero against OTK. Summon as many big heals as possible here. Stabilize and try and get back on target. What a close call. Back and forth, Seralium. Alter times all of this damage. Looking to go back. Did he spell steal it off though? It looks yeah, like he may yeah. have. And that he did. did. He stunned up. He bops him on 1%. Wild seed. The, seed. Trigger. the meteor comes in. Brain takes it. He's trying to protect the seed at all costs here. Can they protect the seed on Seralium? It looks like no they are. Pretty close, but not close enough. And Cloud9 do it in game one. Just kicked right now, surrounding him in a fear as well. Wealthy Man going for the Ring of Frost, but it looks like Wealthy Man is going to be the one falling. He takes so much damage. He gets a sheep there on the Cubsy and surrounding him to close out the game. They have nothing left here. Cubsy still in ground control. Wealthy Man running for his life. The seed. To preemptively protect the, his own egg there, but Drake's all over it. Brain's all over it. They're going to crack the seed, and that is going to be 1 1 here in this grand final. 
Doesn't look like it. Divine Favor stabilizes. Wealthy Man holds on to that advantage. Brain's trying to sneak away. He was able to drink in a previous matchup, but Drake's in trouble. Snuts is leaping in. Snuts is chasing down Drake. Double fear by Snuts. Snuts going for a solo kill on Drake. He breaks the karma with Blessing of Protection. Warbreaker down. Snuts is really tearing into Drake. Drake tries to run, but he gets stunned up by Snuts. Meteor, he gets charged, rooted in the Meteor, and that's Whoa. it. Game over. This combo of Wealthy Man and Snuts is insane. With the Blade Storm comes, he's just spamming out flash of light after flash of light. No wings for five more seconds. Wealthy Man trying to hold on, but it looks like Hawaii is just owning this mirror right now. So much pressure, and they could just close out the match at any point. Divine Shield now forced as well for Cubsy. And there we go, Wealthy Man with the combustion now. What is he gonna do? Big damage onto Drake, but it's not gonna be enough here potentially. Another Stormball comes out. Seralium with the Dragon's Breath. There's the seed, and they are going to crack it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be 2-2 two -two in this matchup. Side of Cloud9 at 10% dampening power infusion available for prev he's pushing in with the freedom going for a stun on the cubsy potentially a silence out silence on the trick dragon on the trinket there's the cauterized wealthy man in a ton of trouble silence follow up that's the seed can they take out the seed here on wealthy man yes they can and that looked clean and that looked easy and Kaui are gonna steal the swing match He's just lobbing in some pyros, trying to keep them low health. Maybe it's unrecoverable. Prev has silence, likely has a stun. If Prev can push in here and crowd control Cubsy, it could be lights out, but Dark Soul is up. Channel is a big threat right now. Dropping the Shadow Fury, silence onto the mage. Everybody's getting whittled down by Channel's dots here at a huge amount of dampening, 66%. Is Brain gonna be able to hold strong through these dots? He's powering some holy lights through, but not able to completely top off. Mind game slips through the cracks on the Channel. Prev's trying to retreat, but they are getting whittled down. Whoa! That could just be it. That's just gonna be it. They get whittled away. They had cooldowns to trade. Was a little bit of a throw there at the end. Dispersion available, sacrifice available. Kind of disappointing to play for 16 minutes to have it just kind of fizzle out like that. Just drop everything. Drop it like it's hot. They gotta make something happen. They're popping in card. There's the Convoke around the corner. He gets robbed out of the room, but the full moon connects. It did enough damage, but not enough to find a kill. That Ring of Peace was MVP. We're at nine minutes. I don't know if we're gonna last another two minutes for Channel to get a fourth round of that Convoke. Ooh, Drake getting low. He has to fuse magic up right now. Big damage available. Can they actually take him down? They need crowd control and brain. Brain forced to trade the sacrifice as well. But Wealthy Man, there's nothing left uh -oh. for him. There's no cooldowns left. Cubs, he's going to have to trade his trinket. Big damage on Wealthy Man. There's no the cheat seed. Down, And he gets dropped. Cubs, he sits the crowd control. He the seed. Can he keep it alive? He's still healing it. Can he actually do it? No. Cloud9 falls. Kawhi, the champions from last year, claimed the first cup of Shadowlands. And uh, they did it in a, a really, really beautiful performance, showing flexibility that we didn't see last year. This team is really stepping up.